Everybody loves a good story. Why? Because stories capture our imagination and help us remember facts and details better. You probably remember the plots of childhood fairy tales, but may struggle to recall what happened during the Civil War. And that's because information is often presented to us as dry facts, numbers, figures, and dates, rather than a gripping story. And it's why we may forget what happened in yesterday's meeting or find our attention faltering during important presentations. Consider this fact. Curium is a radioactive chemical element. That's probably how you see it in a science textbook. Now here's the same fact told in a different way. Curium is a radioactive chemical element named in honor of Marie Curie, a French physicist famous for her work on radioactivity and the first woman to win a Nobel Prize and the only woman with two Nobel Prizes to her name in physics and in chemistry. Now you're more likely to remember the odd name of the element curium because you associate it with Marie Curie, a household name. Hi, my name is Christina McGilvery. I'm an award-winning director and producer, and I've served as a consultant to the United Nations Human Rights Office for nearly a decade. I lead a program on women in the workforce for the American Center. In this course, we'll talk about a few useful techniques you can use to master business storytelling. Now remember, facts and figures are boring only if they're presented that way. And there's always a better way to tell the same story, which you can learn by the end of this mini course. Here are some of the tools I will share. First, how to structure a story right with the SCQR framework. Second, how to visualize a story using data, and third, how to present with flair. Let's start with the anatomy of a good story in the next video. Stay tuned.